from being trapped under a house to getting beaten to death by inmates. Today we look at 15 photos taken right before death. R. Bud Dwyer was an American politician from Pennsylvania who was convicted for accepting bribes. Throughout his trial, Bud kept claiming he was an innocent man. During a news conference, Bud pulled out a revolver in front of many reporters. This picture was taken before Bud placed the revolver into his mouth and shot himself. The whole incident was captured on film and later broadcast throughout Pennsylvania. Two Dutch technicians faced a tragic death while repairing a windmill turbine. The photo shows the two technicians hugging each other as the turbine engulfed in flames. Since they were trapped by the fire, one jumped off the turbine while the other tried to climb back down. Sadly, the two technicians died from the tragic event. The question of how the fire broke out is currently unknown, but others guess the cause was from a short circuit. This is a mother with her son taking a selfie on a plane that was posted on Facebook. The two were very happy and excited traveling together. Unfortunately, they were on board the Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. The plane was shot down over eastern Ukraine. This heartbreaking event occurred hours after the selfie was taken. The mother and son, including the other 296 passengers on board, died from this tragic flight. This CCTV image shows a little boy holding hands with what seems to be his older brother. In reality, the little boy on the left, named James Bolger, was abducted by the boy he was holding hands with on the right named Thompson. This was the last image of James captured in the shopping center shortly before the two-year-old was tortured and killed. The two ten-year-old boys who killed James Bolger were found guilty and sentenced to custody until they reach adulthood. Then they would be released and given new identities to start a new life. Zenya Inyateva was a 17-year-old girl who tried to take a dangerous selfie that led to her death. She climbed into a railway bridge to take a selfie thinking it would add a dramatic effect for the picture. As she was climbing, Zinya lost her balance and fell off to the side of the bridge. While she was falling from a 30 feet height bridge, Zinya tried to grab onto something, but ended up grabbing onto a high voltage cable, which proceeded to electrocute her. Pavel Koshin was a Russian freerunner who was well known for his spectacular stunts. Sadly, he fell to his death while attempting a backflip on the edge of a building. This photo was taken moments before Pavlon lost his balance and fell off the building. A hot air balloon ride in New Zealand turned disastrous when it collided with a high voltage power line, causing it to catch fire and disintegrate. It killed 11 passengers on board. The investigation concluded that the pilot was at fault, making an error of judgment. The toxicology report on the pilot also shows high level of THC, meaning he could have been under the influence of a substance at the time of the crash. <laughs> 32-year-old Courtney Ann Sanford died seconds later after posting a selfie of herself on Facebook titled Happy. She sent the Facebook post at 8.33 a.m. And at 8.34 a.m., the police department got an emergency call on a car wreck. Courtney crossed the median and crashed right into a truck head-on, ending her life. The collision caused both vehicles to run off the road while Courtney's car caught on fire. Carl Williams was a convicted murderer and a drug trafficker in Australia. While incarcerated at Barwon Prison, he was beaten to death by another inmate. This image was taken just before Carl was beaten to death. The weapon used against him was a piece from an exercise machine that Matthew on the left is holding and Carl is sitting on the right. A 
Omira Sanchez was a Colombian girl that was killed in the aftermath of a devastating volcano eruption. Omira was pinned in place by the debris of her house. Numerous people tried to help her break free but were not successful. This photo was taken shortly before she died. Her eyes turned black and her hands turned white. She struggled in the water for three days before dying. Popular singer Ramon Gonzalez took his final Instagram selfie before dying in a motorcycle accident. On the same day after the photo was taken, Gonzalez lost control of his motorcycle on Route 104. He crossed over the median onto the other side and crashed into another vehicle that led to his death. A band was playing at a nightclub in Long Island that turned disastrous when a fire broke out, killing countless lives. This photo shows the lead singer noticing the outbreak. The fire started just seconds into the band's opening song. The fire outburst was caused from pyrotechnics set off by the tour manager. The fire killed 100 people and injured another 230 people. A car bombing took place in 1998 in Omagh, Northern Ireland, killing 29 people and injuring hundreds of civilians. This photo was taken shortly before the explosion, and the red car on the right contained the bomb. This is Regina Walters. She was the last known victim of Robert Ben Rhodes, who was a serial killer and rapist. Regina was forced to pose for a photo moments before being killed by Robert in an abandoned barn. Rhodes was caught later on and convicted. This photo was taken moments before the 1961 US figure skating team boarded onto Sabina Flight 548, which was doomed to crash. They were leaving from New York City, and the plane crashed during the route to Brussels, Belgium, killing every member on board the aircraft. 